everybody. It's Mike from Moss Adventures and Homestead. It's been a couple weeks since we've done a video. Um, not much has been going on, but I definitely have a lot of projects in the start right now. And I'm going to walk you guys through them. Uh, if you can tell, it was like 60 degrees, 50s, rain, everything else for the past week in Ohio. It's a frigid 32 today, nice and windy. So I'm going to go over some of these projects I got going on. I would consider this more of a vlog. I'm not doing any work today. Just a little sneak peek on some things to come. So the first thing that's changed recently during the nice days was our fence used to be right here. We have moved it out about 14 feet both ways. So you can see where the old fence line used to be here. It used to run down the back of the rabbits. Now I have all this extra space to work with. Um, I had a buddy come over and help. We didn't film any of it, but it took us one day to get all this done. We had to trim some trees and bushes to make way for the new fence. Um, Colleen did get her wish. I did save one of the big elderberry trees I was growing in this bush. And then the chickens got a gift of their run area got doubled in size. So all this right here used to be outside the fence. And now you can see there was the line of where their fence used to be. Now we have all this extra space. It's more than double. Um, other projects I'm going to be doing once I get into focus with the fence is we went to probably about two to three feet of the property line. So my plan is since I don't want to mow, well, it's kind of hard to mow. Hi, Eli. Hi. Kind of hard to mow out there. I plan on getting little pine trees and planting through here. One for privacy and two just so then the grass will die and I don't have to take care of it. So, homestead expansion. So now we'll go into our next project I'm working All on. Right. Eli's gonna take off on his bike while I'm in here. But you can see project two and part of project three. I'm not gonna tell you what they're for, but I will say I got two of these IBC totes. Um, I got two projects in mind for them. I'm going to start filming one of them hopefully today maybe since it's so cold I can't do anything outside. But yeah, here's project two and three. And then if I walk out here, Hi. Eli riding his bike, you can see the rest of project number three. Got some long four by four panels. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to say what they're for yet. It's just that they're here. So let's move on to the other things happening around. Homestead. I think there's one animal we have yet to talk about. Hi, Miss Galaxy and Neptune. Um, I haven't talked about the rabbits yet today. There's Mama Jean. What's that? She's got a box in her cage. Let's see what's going on in here. So, about two days ago, we had baby rabbits so let's get in here oh they're just so cute so these are mama jean's babies um, i'm not going to pull them out just because how cold it is today i'm going to tuck them back up into their nice little warm nest and turn them so they're out that wind but mama jean had six babies the other day and then we will hi wrangler move down here to moonlight and moonlight has my home built nesting box which is going to get redesigned she struggles using it but let's pop in here yeah she's got a big nest you can see it moving from here let's uncover them real quick for you guys and there is moonlight's babies so moonlight was bred with wrangler who is also black so hopefully all hers come out black and then Mama Jean was bred with Neptune and hers should all hopefully be gray. But yeah, we got 10 babies that are about two days old. Um, there will definitely be a lot more footage of them coming up here in the next coming weeks along with all my fun projects and other unfinished projects. So let's go look at another unfinished project. So quick. here's my small animal shelter that I started building. Uh, the video never did get released. I got a couple changes I want to do to it. Uh, Colleen does not want it to be too stalled the way it is, how it's got a left and a right. So what I'm going to do is put that center one to right here and just make it one long one so then there's less chances of the weather getting in. 
I need to go through and add more tarping to make it more weatherproof and add a roof to it. But yeah, this is another, this is for uh, project number three. This is part of it. So like I said, I'm not going to say what project three entails, uh, but we should find out more here in the next couple weeks on what's going on and hopefully the weather stays good and I can get some of these projects done. So the last projects are inside where it's nice and airy. So my next project is actually in our front window right now. Let's wait for it to focus. There we go. So this is a tower of spinach, arugula, lettuces. Um, definitely, it's nice to see green life in the middle of winter. Because you can see this, and you look out to my garden, and it's pretty much dead. Yeah. So... <laughs> uh, I got one more project and that'll be it for now. Alright, so I had to turn off my grow lights just because they do some really weird strobe effects. Um, but here's the second start of seeds for the year. These are uh, Lufa gourds. So you turn them into the sponges. You can wash dishes, bathe with and all that. I got six of them started. So these are my usually my early planters. So. Here in a couple weeks, we'll start planting more seeds, and then I'll have to clean up my grow station that's been used for storage all winter and get it ready because eventually this thing will be completely full of seeds again like it was last year. All right, everyone, so that's been some of the updates around the homestead. Uh, lots of exciting things happening. Um, of course, project number three is kind of a mystery still. So if anyone wants to drop you know, guesses down in the comments and let me know what you think this project will be, um, we'll find out here in a couple weeks. Hopefully the weather's good and I can finish it before I hit my deadline. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun things happening. Sorry for the delay between videos. I have a couple videos ready to go. They just need to be edited and I don't like editing videos. It's no fun. So if you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe to Moss Adventures and Homestead on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow us on TikTok. Sometimes I do TikToks just because they're easy to put out. It takes me a fraction of the time it does a YouTube video and it seems like they get a lot more views a lot quicker um, so yeah make sure you follow put your guesses below for what you think project number three is gonna be and I'll see you on the next video later